And if you look at statistics, I happen to write a couple of them down. If you look at statistics, so on January 6th, that's long before the dates you're talking about, there were CDC issued a travel notice for Wuhan, China, a notice before there was even a confirmed case of the virus in the United States. That's on January 6th. This is all documented uh, because we have so much fake news. I like to document things. January 6th, long before the dates we're talking about, CDC issued travel notice to Wuhan, for Wuhan. On January 11th, we have zero cases in the United States. Zero. We don't have any cases. So there are no cases reported that we know of. This is January 11th. The CDC issued a level one travel notice health for health while there were still no confirmed cases. So we had zero cases. People want me to act. I'm supposed to close down the economy, the greatest economy in the history of the world, and we don't have one case confirmed in the United States. That's January 11th. On January 17th, the CDC began implementing public health entry screenings at three major U.S. airports that received the greatest volume of passengers from Wuhan at my instructions. There was not a single case of the coronavirus in the United States. So on January 17th, there wasn't a case. And the fake news is saying, oh, he didn't act fast enough. Well, you remember what happened. Because when I did act, I was criticized by Nancy Pelosi, by sleepy Joe Biden. I was criticized by everybody. In fact, I was called xenophobic. I was asking Biden to please define that for me. I was called other things by Democrats and some others, not too many others, actually. So that by the media, definitely. Now, on January 21st, this is long before the time we're talking, because when Tony, Tony's talking, I believe he's talking about the end of February. On January 21st, okay, still early, there was one case of the virus. At that time, we called it the Wuhan virus, right? Wuhan. There was one case in the whole United States. We had one case. This is all documented. It all comes from you. A lot of it comes from you people. On January 21st, the CDC activated an emergency operation center. There was just one case, one person. That's why that ad was such a phony. There was one person in the United States. You know, they use the ad, there's only one person. That, that statement was made at that time. One case in the whole United States, one case. I'm supposed to shut down the government, the biggest, the biggest uh, economy in the history of the world. Shut it down. We have one case. Seven cases were on January 31st. Now, on January 21st, there was a case. Not one person had died. You heard that, Steve, right? Not one person. So we have this massive country, the United States of America. We have the greatest economy in the world, bigger than China's by a lot, right? Because of what we've done over the last three and a half years prior to the virus, but including the virus. So we have the biggest economy, the greatest economy we've ever had, the highest employment numbers, the best employment numbers, best unemployment numbers also, the best of everything. So on January 31st, think of it, not one person has died, not one. Nobody died, not one, John. You, I don't think you'll find any. This is reported by CDC, confirmed by the news, which doesn't mean anything to me because uh, they don't tell the truth. But CDC reported January 31st, not one person has died. And I issued a travel restriction from China. Think of it. So nobody died. And I issued. You can't get earlier than that. So we have nobody died. And I said, China, you can't come in. I'm sorry. Because I saw what was going on. It wasn't so much what I was told. It was that I saw what was going on. And I didn't like it. I didn't speak to Tony about it. didn't speak to very many people about it. I didn't like it. So what did I do? Ready? January 31st, in the United States, not one person had died because of the, again, the Wuhan virus. So I issued travel restrictions on that date, even though nobody died. And I got brutalized over it by the press because I was way too early. I shouldn't have done it. Brutalized by the press. But... You know, sort of, I've been brutalized for the last four years. I used to do well before I decided to run for politics. But 
I guess I'm doing okay because, to the best of my knowledge, I'm the President of the United States, despite the things that are said. So then, first mandatory quarantine in more than 50 years.